Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Tribunet. My name is Manoj. Today, let us understand about chemical vapor deposition. What is chemical vapor deposition? Chemical vapor deposition or CVD is a vacuum deposition method used to produce high quality and high performance solid materials. The process is often used in the semiconductor industry to produce thin films. In typical CVD, the wafer or a substrate is exposed to one or more volatile precursors which react and or decompose on the substrate surfaces to produce the desired deposit. Here in figure 1 we can see the schematic representation of chemical vapor deposition method. Next let us understand the steps involved in chemical vapor deposition process. The first step introducing the reactive gases to the chamber. In the second step the activate gases that is the decomposition by heat or plasma. Third step gas absorption by the substrate surface. Fourth step reaction takes place on the substrate surface film is formed. Fifth step transport of the volatile byproducts away from the substrate. Sixth step the exhaust of waste. Here we can see in this figure the steps involved in the CVD process where the source gas is introduced and then there will be a decomposition of the gas and then there will be a deposition of the uh, desired material that is on the substrate forming a film and then the transportation of the volatile by the byproducts away from the substrate and also the exhaustion of the waste is done. Next let us understand the main types of CVD process. Here I have mentioned three important types of CVD process that is atmospheric pressure CVD, low pressure CVD, plasma enhanced CVD. Let us see what are the advantages, disadvantages, usage and pressure or temperature, operating pressure or temperature of all this process. In advantage of atmospheric pressure CVD, it is simple and fast. Disadvantage, it's poor step coverage. In usage is it low temperature oxides and epitaxy of silicon and pressure and temperature is at 10 to 100 kilopascals and at 350 to 1200 degrees Celsius. Low pressure CVD, it is excellent cleanliness, conformity and uniformity. Disadvantages is that high temperature, it is mentioned that it is also at a low deposition rate but also we can achieve the high deposition rate too. And polysilicon, nitride and oxide are the things which are deposited using this low pressure CVD and the pr pressure and temperature is like 100 pascals, 550 to 600 degree Celsius and it also can be higher. In plasma enhanced CVD, the advantage is at the low temperature, disadvantages is at the risk for particle and chemical contamination, usage is at low temperature oxide, passivation nitrites and the pressure and temperature is like 200 to 600 pascals and 300 to 400 degrees Celsius temperature. Now let us understand the definitions of all the chemical vapor deposition methods. The first one is atmospheric pressure CVD. The atmospheric pressure CVD is a chemical vapor deposition method at a normal pressure that is at atmospheric pressure which is used for deposition of different oxides. Here in the figure 3 we can see the schematic representation of APCVD where we can see the desired gas is sent inside the chamber where the heating furnace is present and hence the desired material which is required to be coated on the surface will be uh, deposited on the surface and a thin, by forming a thin film and then the waste will be sent out along with the exhaust. Next one, low pressure CVD. Low pressure chemical vapor deposition is a type of a CVD technology that uses heat to initiate a reaction of a precursor gas on the solid substrate. This reaction at the surface is what forms the solid phase material. Low pressure is used to decrease any unwanted gas phase reactions and increases the uniformity across the substrate. Here in this figure, we can see the schematic representation of low pressure CVD process. Next. Plasma Enhanced CVD Plasma Enhanced Chemical Vapor Deposition is a type of a CVD process used to deposit thin films from a gas state or a vapor state to a solid on a substrate. Chemical reactions are involved in this process which occurs after creation of a plasma of the reacting gases. The plasma is generally created by radio frequency or alternating current frequency or direct current discharge between two electrodes, the space between which is filled with the reacting gases. Here in this figure we can see the schematic representation of PECVD which is a plasma enhanced chemical vapor deposition. I hope from this 
video you have understood the definition of a chemical vapor deposition what are the steps involved and what are the main types of chemical vapor deposition methods these are the references for the information provided in this video thank you for watching this video if you want to get more details on the topics related to tribology follow us on our social media pages on instagram facebook linkedin and youtube and do not forget to subscribe our youtube channel and also visit our website on www.tribonet.org